Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to come to you with a perhaps longer video. This is going to be my full Chanel handbag collection in order of least used to most used. So we're going to go through all of my Chanel bags and in this for me, I consider some things that are technically SLGs like wallet on chain, uh, anything I can wear crossbody as a bag, even though it's technically not. But since I'm using it as a bag, we're going to throw it in this collection. I have a pretty small Chanel collection. Uh, actually, for the upcoming launch on September 15th, I'm contemplating adding to this and you're going to see a recurring theme. And so I think what I'm adding is probably going to make sense to you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, well, one more thing I have to say. Uh, I don't have to, but I would like to say if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'd love to have a conversation down in the chat. And, you know, let's just get into it. Okay, so my first least used Chanel bag is this one right here. This is the Chanel Gabrielle medium bag. You can kind of see she's sort of a hot mess, slouchy bag. Uh, this actually is like maybe one of my highest value purchases that I've ever made. I think I'm pretty sure when this bag came out and when I bought it, it was something like 2200 or it was like the same price as a walk at the time. Now this bag has gone up in price a ton, so I wouldn't rebuy it. But because of that value, I feel like I can't get rid of it, even though I don't really use it that much. It's actually a really great size bag. It kind of has this like almost mini bag, you know, easy feel to it but without being too constricting with what you bring. It's just a little bit fussy. Okay, so what I like about this bag is it's a very subtle. If you don't know it's a Chanel bag, like this, the pull tabs, like the only indicator that would really tell you. And it's just kind of like more edgy and subtle. In the campaigns, they wore the bag like this, which is their version of doing a crossbody, which is actually like super secure. If you go full crossbody, it's too long. You can get those little chain clips to like make it a little bit shorter. Uh, I'd probably want to do it like there, but I've never done it. I've never really fussed with it. I've always just kind of worn it like this, mostly just in emergencies, or I would do it just on the shoulder like this. This bag has a structured bottom and a slouchy calf top. So it's kind of, it's a little bit of a beautiful mess. Uh, it, yeah. What else can I say about this bag? The interior, there's actually like a lot of features on the interior of this bag. There's two pockets with the lipstick case. There's a zippered pocket over here and there's a little D ring feature here. It's quite cute. You know, there's multiple hardware colors on this. So it's super edgy. It's just, I don't really reach for her. And then I struggle because I think, you know, if I'm not using a bag, it shouldn't stay in my collection. But then there'll always be that one time where I'm like, well, I want something a little bit more understated that doesn't scream designer if you don't know it. And then I reach for this one and then I remember and I'm like, okay. Or then I go to resell it. And like the resale on these is like almost double what I paid. And so then I think, well, I should just hold on to it because it was like such a good deal. And I don't know. I don't know, but this is like the irritating thing about it. It's kind of slouches over. It's definitely a trendy bag. I think the Gabrielle is a little bit on its way out, less so the smaller sizes, but definitely the medium. But then, these things all come back. You know, for a long time, the Dior saddlebag was like persona non grata in the bag community. And now look at her, she's thriving. <laughs> Everyone wants one, loves her. So, you know, these things are totally cyclical. And so I have room, so I'll just probably still keep her. But because of the crossbody situation, because of the slouchiness situation, it's just not She's not my favorite right now. She's super secure. You can fit a lot. Like I said, I like the subtlety. I like that there still is this little pull tab feature. And then there's lots of cute pockets inside. So that's the Chanel Gabby. She was, like I said, a really great deal at the time, but definitely my least used Chanel bag. Moving on. My second to least used bag is actually one of my favorites. 
It's the Chanel Jumbo. This is the classic double flap jumbo. I bought her uh, at the Paris flagship store many years ago, like back when I, this actually might have appreciated even more than the Gabby. When I purchased her, I think with the discounts and everything like that, probably around $4,000. It's more than double retail now. I love this bag. She's a treasure. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She makes a huge statement. I think, you know, mini bags have been having their time. I think the jumbo never really went out, but I think they'll come back strong in the next couple of years. And it's just such a classic, beautiful, perfect bag. Um, there's of course the Mademoiselle pocket in the back. We all know all the details of this bag. The zip pocket up front, that's pretty useless unless you have love letters. This pocket in the back here, which is really nice for a phone or something. The gorgeous burgundy interior, these two slip pockets at the back, this pocket in the front. It's just gorgeous construction, classic bag, still looks <laughs> brand new. And it's because I really don't wear her. So I feel like this bag's a little bit big and fussy for dinner or most outings, unless you, you know, are in a very metropolitan city like New York, London, or Paris. It's kind of like too much for every day. Um, so it's just hard. Like I think when I have this bag, I worry like, oh, where am I gonna put her? She's so big, I don't want anyone to bump into her. And the bag's pretty heavy, you know? So it can't be like, it's pretty heavy and you can't fit a ton. Like it's, you just, you have to be selective. But she's just so gorgeous. So second black Chanel bag, <laughs> but a totally different look, a totally different vibe. I would never, you know, if I was re thinking about grabbing for the jumbo, I'd never be like, oh, look what a mess this is. I'd never be like, oh, what about the Gabby instead? Like, no, these are two totally different. I don't even see how these bags are related. <laughs> this is like the edgy cousin and this is like, you know, it's actually like Blair Waldorf, Serena. All right. Obviously, this has never been on the chopping block, never will be on the chopping block. I think she's just an icon. Maybe, you know, over time, she'll get to shine a little bit more. But recently, I've just been reaching more for smaller bags, something that's like a little bit less fussy, a little bit more compact. However, she's just stunning, stunning and makes me smile. And, you know, I probably should make an effort, effort, especially this coming fall. I feel like she's a really good fall winter bag to reach for her more. So that's a challenge for myself. Having her out like this, I'm just like mesmerized. Like this to me is like the most fantastic bag and I should wear her, right? Okay, but currently as she stands, second to last in the least used, oh, my shirt's, ooh, um, Chanel bag. All right, so moving, this is like a very concise collection. So we're gonna, you know, be moving up pretty fast to things that are more frequently used. This is technically an SLG. This is a phone, crossbody phone holder. I actually purchased this one secondhand off Fashion File. It's lambskin and uh, gold chain. It literally is just a pocket that fits your phone and maybe a slim card holder. I have like the pop socket card holder on the back of my phone and that fits in here. You literally, it's like there's no room for a lip thing or anything. You have to stick it in your pocket or hand it to your husband or something like that. But I love this for travel specifically if I just want to be kind of hands-free and lightweight. Specifically if I'm like traveling for work then you know you have a big tote bag with all your work stuff in it. And then this is great for like, oh, I'm running out to lunch or I have to run an errand or I'm like running around an office that maybe I'm not familiar with. I wanna make sure I always have my phone and stuff with me. You don't always have pockets. So it's a good crossbody length. And here it is on one shoulder. This probably currently is the least expensive of the bunch. So this was under uh, 2000, which, I mean, the Gabby was basically 
that at the time, but we won't go there. I love the little charm here. This is like such a cute detail in case you didn't already know that it was Chanel. There she is. Uh, but I think it's subtle enough to wear wherever, uh, but it's still nice enough that those who know will know. And so, yeah, I think this definitely isn't for everyone. Like some folks may want to be carrying more, which like I understand, but I'm definitely more living the low maintenance lifestyle with this bag. So that is sums up the bottom half of the team. So moving on up to some of the frequently most used bags, it's hard to say it feels like a very close tie. Now I discussed this bag in my last video. This is the Chanel wallet on chain. This one's very well loved and well worn. You can see, you know, there's some flattening and creasing and things like that. My wallet on chain, it's just such an easy thing to reach for. I will say I didn't put this first because I think the wallet on chain gets subbed out for some of my Louis Vuitton medium bags. Like I'm like, oh, do I want the wallet on chain or do I want my Alma BB? Sometimes the Alma BB wins. Just because this is kind of more casual, it's very cute, it's very functional, but it's definitely more of a casual look with the burgundy and the caviar and being as old as she is. So she's definitely a little bit up there in age and with the silver hardware too, like a very casual bag. So last but not least, my most worn bag is one that we also discussed last week, and that is the Chanel Mini in the gunmetal hardware. This one has sparkles built in. It's caviar, and I, I reach for this bag probably the most because it's just the right amount of dressy, easy to wear, kind of, you don't have to worry about it because it's so small and compact. Unlike the jumbo, I'm like, oh, where am I gonna put it? This one, it could fit anywhere. I could just, I could leave it on crossbody the whole time if I was really worried or just have it on my shoulder. She kinda, she takes care of herself. So this bag is just super wearable. I know I was saying in the walk versus mini that I pick the walk over the mini, but I think I'm using this one more just due to the type of walk that I have and also the type of mini that I have. So that actually is my full Chanel handbag collection from least used uh, to most used. So hopefully this was helpful for you as you think about building your collection. As I was making this video, I was like, I see a recurring pattern. Let's take a look. All right, so we have gunmetal gold, but black, black. Burgundy silver, but is this reading black to anyone? Okay, definitely dark. Black and the Gabby's black too. <laughs> and so for my next Chanel selection, I'm definitely gonna go for something not black. I've been loving my colorful Louis Vuittons, the pink one, the tan one, things like that. And so for the new season collection, definitely looking at bringing a little bit more color, if not color, then just something a little bit lighter in my life. I feel like I built the majority of this collection when I was like such an all black girl and now I'm like pink, <laughs> white jeans, like lighter colors. And so I think a little bit of color might be in order for future purchases. That is definitely my observation in looking at this very concise and humble Chanel collection. Hopefully this video is helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't, please consider subscribing as we discussed earlier. And otherwise, I will see you guys next week in my next video. Okay, take care. Bye.